This is the last drive, guys. Ramsey Schilling building. Yeah, this is the last drive. This is um, me taking this car to CarMax to sell it. Um, a couple things that kind of trip me out a little bit. I'm getting emotional about this, and I don't know why. I mean, I know why. I love this car, and I loved the fuck out of this car the whole time I've had it. There's never been a time that I've had this car that I was like, I don't like this car. Like, I've always loved this car. Is this guy coming? Okay. So there's that. The second thing is, is that, um, oh, wow. The second thing is, is that I had this car in North Hollywood back when my kid was like nine or some shit. it in Big Bear, in the snow, in the ice, all that. I had it in the desert, in the ridiculous heat, during the pandemic, the whole fucking thing. And I had it back in Big Bear, and then back in LA. And um, it's just been kind of like a wild ride. I don't know how else to describe it. I think I should have turned up that street. I don't know. Maybe we'll stay on here. I don't, I don't know where we're going. I can't really remember where CarMax is. I think I have an idea and I'm sure I'll be able to find it once we get into that direction. But the other thing about this car is that it's full of ghosts. It's full of like my ex-wife, my ex-ex, um, all the times spent in this car, fucking hell, ghosts of my kid, but like, I don't mind my kid, so I don't mind those ghosts, it's more like, uh, ghosts of people. So anyway, what's happening now in my life is that I'm getting rid of ghosts. I'm getting rid of being haunted by my past. And honestly, I think when I get home tonight, going through those totes, I think I'm going to get rid of a ton of shit. Like stuff that I've been like really hanging on to. I think most of that's gone. Um, so we'll see what that's like. But um, after the live streams I did today and just this, like I'm, I'm ready to move on. Um, not only ready to move on, I'm like wanting to run on. But like I sent out the beta copy of Seasons of the Muse and um, it, I already got one person who read through the entire thing was like I have no notes it was heartbreaking and beautiful at the same time and um, I don't know what to say or how to react I think I actually have to turn here let's just do it we'll figure this shit out Anyway, um, it broke my heart because like, honestly, I haven't really read those poems. Um, and then I realized that like the last poem in the book, I forgot to add into the book. So I sent it to her because we were talking about it. Um, but there's also a few other poems that I wrote either on audio or in my phone that I haven't put into that manuscript yet. And then I'm trying to figure out if I should put the poems from um, Poems Over Kitty in that book or if I should just leave it. Because that's an important thing because that's me like trying to move on by hooking up with other people. 
and then realizing that my art is more important than having sex and that I should probably just calm down and deal with my shit instead of just trying to fuck my way out of it. That's pretty deep. But anyway. I don't know what this video is for, like what channel it's for. But um, I guess at the end it doesn't matter. It just goes with that whole thing. Because like someone even already brought it up that um, today in one of the live streams that I'm running away from LA and even in my darkest period when I was in therapy and my therapist was asking me about this if I was like running away from LA I'm like I don't think I'm running away from LA as much as I feel like I'm running toward Southeast Asia like I just don't look at it like that. So, I don't know. I guess that's the big question for all of us and for you and everybody. Whenever you're in this transition phase, are you transitioning because you're running away from something? Or are you transitioning because you're running to something greater? And that that's just that's the question you know it's funny um Caitlin in the live stream today said that I can't remember how long she said now that I'm, now that I'm saying it I can't remember but I think she said something like she's four hours away from the nearest Starbucks dude I've since like I left my house I think I passed like different Starbucks it's, and it's probably more that's the crazy thing because there's more like inside grocery stores and targets and shit that I don't see fucking wild since I've been on here I passed three and I'm about to pass two more because there's one in this parking lot and then there's one in the grocery store I know for a fact I've been to both There's the auto club, and no more auto club. I'm excited that I get to call my insurance company and tell them that I'm not paying my car insurance anymore. And I'm not paying for gas. I mean, I have to pay for Ubers while I'm still here. But like, when I go to my mom's next week, I'm gonna go down, I'm gonna like Uber downtown and then take the train out towards where my mom is and then Uber from there to my mom's. It's going to be absolutely crazy. But it's going to be what life's like for me from now on. So I might as well get used to it. I probably really should have checked where um, this place is. Oh, someone's smoking a cigarette. I haven't had a cigarette in a long time. I found a half-smoked cigarette under the car seat when I was cleaning the and like there was a moment where I was just like oh I want to taste that and then I vacuumed it up and I didn't think about it again until right now oh my gosh we're in the part of Burbank where it's just all a bunch of brick buildings that have little like ridiculous like signs that where you can't even really read them but if you read them you would go oh that's a company that makes movies that I've seen a hundred of okay um we're going under the five freeway right now, and I think this is where CarMax is. I think. So weird, this is the exact place I bought my car from. This car has been, on, this car went on tour with me. I went on tour in this car. I woke up while driving in, um, I was on the highway, and then I guess I fell asleep, and then I woke up, oh shit, is it down flower? CarMax, boom, right there. Holy shit, I found it. I'm like a fucking bloodhound. That's crazy. All right, me, dude. Look at you, guessing what street shit's on and being right. We're gonna make a fucking U-turn. Well, it's good to see what's around here because I'm gonna need to like, this is gonna take a couple hours probably. 
So I'm gonna need to find something to fucking do. What else is around here? Ooh, if there is a fucking spa, I would love going for a dip. Not gonna lie. There she is, guys. There she is. And there she goes. And we're gonna find out what this actually means because I'm scared that it's going to be bad, but I'm hopeful that it's gonna be awesome. I just wanted to give you an update on what happened today. So I sold the car, the car is gone. They gave me an offer online. I went there and then they knocked a thousand off the offer because they said the engine was defective. <clears throat> and I said, how so? And they said, it's idling kind of weak. And I'm like, I could see someone say that. But then he said the engine was screaming when they were like driving it. And I'm like, that's bullshit. Like it doesn't scream when I drive it. I heard it. I heard you guys drive it. There was no screaming. Um, and he's like, look, we like, I mean, the car has like 230,000 miles on it. It's not like we're going to sell it like as is, you know. Chances are we're going to buy this from you and realize that we can't make any money on it. So um, we're probably not going to do anything with it. And I'm like, all right. I just wanted to know. Like, I wanted to know how you were fucking me. And now I know. And I don't have, I didn't tell him this, I'm like, but I, I don't have time to, like, second guess you. So whatever, I'll take the fucking deal. So I'm not thrilled about it, but it happened. So, whatever. Um, then I had to take an Uber from there to the bank to try to deposit the check and then the guy told me he's like yeah this is like kind of a weird bank check so there's a possibility that like you'll deposit this check and the funds won't be available for like a week and I'm like what? and so I took a, a lift to Chase and they said it should be available tomorrow so fingers crossed on that because I need to buy my ticket and I also need to do something else, which we'll talk about in a minute. And I also need to buy my camera, my GoPro. God, I'm so tired. It's like fucking one o'clock in the morning right now. I've been editing a ton of videos trying to get to these videos. It's a long story. So from there, I walked across the street to Starbucks, got a cup of coffee, then walked across two different streets to get to a McDonald's to get a thing of fries and a cheeseburger. And then called another lift to drive me from Burbank back home to LA. And that costs like 60 bucks. Oh. So I'm not having to pay for car insurance anymore. And I'm not having to pay parking anymore. And I'm not having to pay for gas anymore. But I just had to pay $60 for a fucking Uber. So I think I'm going to have to do that like three more times before I leave. And then I should be okay. I'm going to have to do it to go downtown, and then I'm going to have to do another one to go to my mom's, and then depending on what time I leave my mom's, I'm either going to have to take an Uber from my mom's back to the train, take the train to here, take an Uber back home, or I'm going to take an Uber to the train, take the train to my mom, take the Uber to my mom's from the train and then take an Uber from my mom's to LAX, which is going to be absolute garbage. Not looking forward to that at all. So we'll try to put something together for that. We'll see. Um, I'm trying to think of what else happened. Oh, um, yeah. So, oh, then I tried to cancel my insurance and the fucking guy was like, if you cancel your insurance, when you come back, your premium is going to be really high. And I'm like, what are you talking about? He's like, you need to give us like $25 a year or else, um, you know, 
it's going to look like you weren't driving. I'm like, but I wasn't, and you know I wasn't, and that's why you just offered me a $25 a year policy that I'm not using to scare me into not having insurance. It was such a fucking scam. And he's like, you know what? My wife yells at me about this all the time. And I'm like, fuck you, dude. I'm like, don't fucking talk to me like I'm your buddy, like I'm your bro. You're trying to scare me into giving you an extra $25 for no fucking reason. Eat shit. And then I'm like, why is this happening? And he's like, well, to make you still have coverage. Why, though? Well, to keep your coverage alive. For what reason? And then he finally was like, oh, well, because, like, insurance companies like you to maintain insurance. Like, they, they think that's better for policy. And I'm like, no, they think that's better for their fucking pocket. What the fuck, dude? So, anyway. So, that happened. Um... Today is... What is the date today? Oh, fuck. Today is the 23rd. And I'm supposed to be... If I get the same flight that I'm looking to get, which I'm not going to get until tomorrow. If I get that flight, I will be leaving in five days. Five days. We're down to one hand. That's fucking crazy. It's all here. It's happening. And if you're not following me on the other channel, Create Our Arrow, get the fuck over there and do that. What the fuck's wrong with you? Don't be a dick. Just go over there and fucking do it. And the only reason why I'm putting this video on the fucking Matt Wall channel is because we're talking about Seasons of the Muse a bunch. Not a bunch, but enough for me to talk about it. Do the fucking thing. Okay, bird. Let me get arrow, arrow. Okay, do the thing. Bye.